Welcome to the Lime Survey video series created by CCS to assist Lime Survey coordinators in navigating some of the commonly used features of the Lime Survey web application. In this step you will create the survey container. You will also give your survey title and specify the template to use. The template controls the general layout of the survey and its color scheme. Your service title and template are part of your service metadata. In total, there are about 60 metadata pieces you can set for a survey, with all but the title having default values. To create a survey, click the Create, Import or Copy a Survey icon on the Administration toolbar. You are now presented with a new screen containing several tabs along the top of the page. Your service of approximately 60 pieces of metadata are organized under these tabs. The General tab is selected by default. Beneath that tab, the metadata form is shown. The content displayed via the form that appears when you click on the tab is the service metadata that is associated with that particular tab. As you click from tab to tab, different forms appear beneath the administration toolbar and you can review or change the survey metadata that is associated with that tab. You can edit your service metadata details repeatedly, right up to the point where your survey is deployed. And some metadata components can be changed even when your survey is active. As a starting point creating a survey, you only need to enter its title. You can use the default values for all other metadata components of your survey. Enter your desired title in the Title Text field. Regarding the other fields, you will see on the form. Any text you enter in the Description field will appear at the top of each page of your survey. The Description field is often used to display a logo or some other image at the top of each page of your survey. Any text you enter in the Welcome message field will appear on the opening page only. Any text you enter in the End message field will appear after your respondent clicks the Submit button that appears along with the last question in your survey. Your respondents click the Submit button to submit their survey responses. If you wish to direct your respondents to another web page or site after they click the Submit button, enter the URL in the End URL field. A common use of this metadata attribute is to direct people to another survey, where they can leave their name and contact information for an incentive draw, etc. By using a separate survey to collect this information, you can still have the main survey by Anonymous if needed. Once you have completed the form shown in the screen by specifying at least the title, click the Forms Save button to save the metadata. You can return and make changes to other metadata later if needed. Next, let's specify your service template. Move your mouse over the Survey Properties icon on the Survey toolbar, and then click the General Settings submenu from the list that appears. Select the Presentation and Navigation tab. On the resulting form, click the drop-down arrow beside the template field. Click on your desired template from the list displayed. The recommended template for most surveys is Guelph Title Blank. Click the Forms Save button to save your metadata. After you click the Save button in this step, you will have completed the process of creating the survey container giving your survey title and specifying the template you wish to use. Now look for hints on the area of the web page beneath the survey toolbar. In Lime Survey, hints are always displayed in red text in the form area beneath the lowest toolbar. Current hints are advising that you need to add a question group to your survey and that you need to add a question to your survey. We will do that in the next two videos. Congratulations, you have now completed step 1 of the 7 steps involved in creating a survey.